so hello youtubes and hello fans in this video i gonna show you how to port a custom rom for media tech 6592 devices so and the rom is lineage os and 13.0.6.0.1 so let us talk about the requirement to port a custom rom so firstly you need to download the lineage os zip file from the given link in description that is here and uh, you need also a stock rom and it should be extracted so here is the extracted files of system.image and you also need a boot.image file from your stock rom and another one you needed the carlib image kitchen to extract the boot image and here is the carlib kitchen and you also need two software that is first for editing the text that is notepad plus plus and second one is 7 zip file manager for uh, unzipping or zipping a zip file and <laughs> so now you need to unzip the rom file so your 7 zip i preferred so it is tracking <laughs> so it is extracted so there is no need of this folder file so and you can see here it is unzip so now we also need to unzip the carly image kitchen so also unzipping so it also unzip so it also no need so our the first step is completed so now rename to rename the lineage os to port so and here so now open the port folder and rename boot image to boot port so and do same with stock and rename it to boot sto stock so now copy this this boot port to kali image and it paste to boot resources and also copy the boot stock and paste it, paste it to boot resource so now open carly.pat file and you can see here the press b4 boot option so now paste b and hit enter so here first option to boot port so enter and now again one hit one to unpack image so and you can see here the boot port is structured and now again so now again open it and type b for boot and type 2 to extract um, boot stock so now open one hit one to start so now now our you can see at the boot port and boot stock to one folder as created so now open the boot port and delete the kernel files from it and open the boot stock and copy it from here 
and paste it, paste it to sorry paste it to boot so now open boot stock ram disk and so you can see here this process open the init folder from the ram disk folder of boot stock with notepad plus plus open in it mt6592 dot rc from the ram, ram disk folder of boot portal in notepad plus plus so go to ram disk and open in it dot rc and now minimize it and again go to boot port and open ram disk and open init mt6592.rc and press ctrl plus f to find and find c a m e r camera now and again search in init.rc so it is your stock so copy it from here and replace to here so so you can see, see here the it is replaced so now save it and close it and our first step is completed now it also completed now we need to repack our uh, boot port so again carlib.pat and press b for boot option and here is the fir first option for boot port so type again one and you need to press two to repack image so press two and enter So repack is completed and you can see here it is found, you find found it in on outward folder so now copy it and paste it to port folder and rename it to port and here is no need to boot port so now our first step is completed uh, to uh, I have, uh, unpack the boot emails and replace the kernel files and I am again repack so first step is completed now we need to um, replace some files from system so here is the list of files you need to replace so here in the system library and here is the Mm, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 files you need to replace from a stock to port so here is the stock and here is the leave and search for and here is the first file another leave audio second files so I have already Mm, I have already find this for files so I have already separate these files so to decrease my time so go to port system leave and paste here so you can see here it the destination has 10 files with the same names but you need to replace this file in the destination so here is the so now we again need to system leave hw and here is the two files so i have already separate these two files system leave it's done 
and you need to paste here sorry so replace these files now our second step is also completed now you need to um, now you need to open metainf com google android and open update script uh, update script with notepad and change your mounting location so metain com google android and open script so you need to see your mounting location with the help of app that is disk info and in my case in my phone i'm porting for the carbon titanium octane which is based on mediatek 6592 as my system partition is p6 and and my data partition is 8 and my system partition is 6 and my again system partition is 6 so all I have replaced so now you need to save it and close it so our mounting location is also finished so now we need to go to system and it is built prop so here if you not change the build prop it, it cannot it also booted your phone so just we need to change our brand of phone so in my case is it is carbon and the product name is titanium sorry okay so mediatek 65 and 92 and you need to change here so your all steps are completed so now again save it and now go here and select all right click and go to 7 zip and click on add to achieve and whatever you want to put your name can zip it so it take and so not now talk about that if you're getting any problem during uh, after the booting your phone if you got any problem in Wi-Fi then you need to replace your system etc and replace all the Wi all the files and folder from the Wi-Fi folder and for fixing the Bluetooth you need to replace the files from the system etc and bluetooth and to fix the network problem you need to go to system bean and here is the four files you need to replace so now our zipping is also completed so our all step is completed so here is the zip file and your ROM thing is completed it's very simple and easy and now we need to try it so I'm trying it in my phone and be sure this method always work with MTK6592 with this ROM